Hi guys, thank you for tuning into this video. My name is Chris. Uh, this video is going to be about Drupal and WordPress and if you know these uh, two CMS uh, uh, systems, you will probably also know that uh, they are sort of battling for uh, control um, of uh, you know the the market uh, in the CMS systems, there are uh, other CMS systems out there, but these are the two I am focusing uh, on in this video. And um, when thinking about these two uh, uh, CMS systems, I'm thinking about you know if you have a small business or you have a non-profit organization, you know which one do you want to choose uh, and and use for your uh, for your online marketing uh, services. Uh, so going straight into it, uh, there are a lot of differences between these uh, two systems. Uh, to start out, uh, WordPress is uh, is uh, a free system and you can go to wordpress.com and you can get started on uh, building your websites. There's a lot of themes there and you don't even have to um, have a domain name, uh, but you can also uh, you can uh, install your WordPress uh, on uh, your own domain. So you you'll have your own domain name and uh, and you you will have your WordPress uh, uh, installation there. Uh, and uh, you know it's it's sort of uh, to 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 uh, say it in short wordpress is a blogging tool and that's that's what it was uh, built for and in my opinion i mean in my opinion that is what it's uh, really good at um so drupal is uh, a little a little different it's uh, it's it's also free to use uh, like WordPress, uh, but uh, Drupal you need a, a a Drupal installation on your domain. You can go to uh, there are some places like Drupal Garden uh, Gardens where you can sort of uh, have a, a installation and and use it. But uh, but but I never use this um, this feature. But uh, as I said, it's free and Drupal is sort of a module build a CMS system so if you go to drupal.org you can uh, uh, read a lot more about this but it is uh, you know it's built to to uh, uh, you know to 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 use for uh, bigger websites usually you know uh, social uh, media websites or uh, e-business or e-commerce um, and it can handle a lot of traffic and it 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 has a lot of features that you sort of build onto the core of Drupal and uh, <laughs> you might uh, you might notice that uh, that uh, I I know a, a lot about this, is this, and this is because I am actually uh, developing and uh, and designing Drupal uh, Drupal websites. Um, so in 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 designing these two, uh, you know, both Drupal and WordPress, there's a lot of uh, uh, pre-made themes out there that you can use and you can download for free. Um, but you also have the ability to to build your own themes or to design your, your own themes or have your own themes designed. Uh, a lot of web uh, design and web development uh, businesses use these two uh, systems as sort of a, a sort of a a, a, a base for their, uh, their design work. Um, but in, in my opinion the 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 big differences between these two are that uh, Drupal is a lot heavier uh, in getting started with. It is harder to to build and develop uh, because you have a lot of modules and you have to know a lot of about about Drupal itself. And you have uh, to know about you know uh, HTML, CSS, and PHP uh, programming. Um, but you also have a lot of uh, sort of you know you have a lot of control over things too. WordPress, on the other hand, is uh, as I said, it's it's a blogging tool and that's what it's built for. And a lot of people have built uh, extensions to WordPress, uh, which makes it uh, uh, possible to to do e-commerce or do a lot of other things with WordPress. But 
they are, in my opinion, still workarounds. It, they, they, the WordPress system wasn't built for this. So, so these uh, these uh, um, modules or extensions are always workarounds. And and in my opinion, in my opinion, that's not just always what you want. Uh, so, the five things that uh, you uh, you want to, to to think about when choosing a system is, you know. Uh, number one, development. What uh, what do you have? Your own developer, or uh, do you have a lot of money to to use on development, and and uh, do you have a lot of time to use on development? If if time is a factor factor, and you just want something up that fast, um, definitely choose WordPress. But if you don't mind uh, working for it uh, and and getting something uh, you know more comprehensive, uh, uh, choose uh, choose Drupal. Number two, theming. As I said, uh, there's a lot of free themes out there, and and you can easily get a a nice looking website uh, on both these systems. Um, I'm I'm not very familiar about uh, uh, with theming uh, for WordPress, but uh, I'm doing a lot of uh, Drupal theming myself, and I really love it. I there's a lot of complexity and the, there's a lot of control, and you can do almost uh, uh, anything. Uh, so in in theming, they are in my mind uh, pretty close. Number three, cost. Usually, WordPress uh, solutions will be cheaper uh, because they are easier and faster to to make. Uh, so ours factor in here. Uh, Drupal solutions will they they can vary a lot, but uh, a lot of the bigger web design companies use uh, Drupal, uh, and this is also because you can in Drupal uh, create you know huge uh, solutions, huge e-commerce solutions, huge huge uh, forums or, or social uh, social networks, you know that and and it can support a lot of users at uh, at the same time. Number four, uh, features. Think about what the features uh, are going to use. Is it uh, is it mainly to to show some information about your business or your nonprofit, and and maybe uh, have a, a news feature or a a blog on your website, which in my mind is the basic of of uh, any uh, business or nonprofit. Or do you need something more extensive? You know, do you need uh, e-commerce? Do you need to build forums, or do you need to to uh, to you know uh, uh, have a lot more uh, possibilities and a, a lot more uh, ways of extending your site? You should definitely ju- choose uh, Drupal in in my mind. Number five, future uh, needs. Think about your future. Think about you know where are your business going and where are your business going with this with this website. If you're going into e-commerce, uh, you want to think about you know do you want to uh, save some money now? Start with the WordPress uh, solution and and then change to something uh, else later on, or do you want to start out with uh, for example Drupal? And you can always build on on that platform later on, uh, and maybe uh, you know pay a little more to to get started but you know think about what is your what is your th- future plans with uh, with this web- website um so i know there's a lot of people out there with op- 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 opinions on uh, on both drupal and wordpress so, and uh, i would really love to hear from you uh, you know if you uh, if you like one or the other uh, or or anything or or, or love a third uh, cms Feel free to give me a comment in the comment section below or send me an email. I would really love to hear your comments and thoughts about uh, about these two. Um, and especially, you know, I haven't uh, had much experience with uh, WordPress. So if you are a uh, a a WordPress lover, <laughs> feel free to uh, to to give me some comments too. Uh, as always, uh, connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Or subscribe to my channel here on YouTube uh, to uh, be updated on new videos. I put out new videos every Friday. So uh, don't be a stranger. See you later. Bye.